All right, guys, we're working on a Whirlpool, but this could go for any refrigerator, side by side, even a French door. So we have a clog drain, and that's when you have water frozen back there. That's your drain area where the water should dissipate, but there's a clog, and you can have water on the freezer floor and also dripping onto your floor. It is rather frustrating, so we do have a steamer. We're going to use the steamer to get rid of the ice. But you can do this. Just get super hot water from the microwave or boil it. Be careful. Get a turkey baster, whatever that thing is, and slowly work it back there. I'll show you where once we're defrosting. And once you get it totally melted, obviously remove the ice from the bottom of the floor. And then you want to work on getting the water slowly pouring down the drain tube in the back and you will it'll take you a little bit of time to make sure that it's fully unclogged but once it's done you should be able to pour some water back there and you will definitely see the water flowing and I'll show you exactly what we're talking about So that's where your drain is. You'll have to look and you'll see probably a hole or a indention in the center usually and just pour the water there until all the water is no longer pooling. That's your drain area. Just make sure that all the ice is melted and turn the fridge off. Don't leave the fridge running. It takes a little bit of time but it definitely saves you a lot of headache. All right, so we're pretty much done. A little bit of ice there, which we'll deal with in a second. Now, this is your drain tube, that white thing. And before you start, depends on how clogged yours is, you might have to remove it and actually wash it or blow it out in the sink or garden hose, whatever. So it just depends, but usually you don't have to actually remove it from the unit. Uh, this one was not too clogged, so I was able to just reinstall it. Make sure you actually get it back in place. If not, you will continue to freeze up and you will have uh, frost building up. So make sure you reinstall it if you do remove it. Excuse me. You don't have a lot of room back there to work. So if you don't have to touch it, don't touch it. Just keep pouring the water and eventually it will unclog it. Now we're testing with water and water should pour and it should not should not come back into the refrigerator or the freezer and we're going to the back you should see water coming out there it is of the drain tube 